Hey everyone, Corwin here. Now, if you're watching this video, you either one, have a deck of low poly sharks yourself, or two, you're looking to get one. Now, you might be wondering, what can I do with a deck of low poly sharks? And today, I am here to answer that question. To be honest, I think the real question is, what can't you do with a deck of low poly sharks? Today, I am going to be giving you four of the most common uses of the low poly sharks, along with examples. All right, so first and probably most obviously, you can use the low poly sharks to do cardistry. This next clip will be an accurate representation of what doing cardistry looks like. <laughs> oh, something cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like 52 pick up. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Corwin, what an awfully cliche joke. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? And to that I say, oh what? Don't do that. It's called cringe? Whew, man, I'm getting old, man. First my stimmy check gets delayed and now I'm being called the cringe? Oh, stimulus, not stimmy? That's cringe too? The second thing that you could do with a deck of low poly sharks is that you can use them to play card games at your local party. You know, with the people who don't wash their disgusting little hands before they touch your deck. All this hope maybe I don't have a slow motion camera. The third thing that you could do with a deck of low poly sharks is perform magic. I will be demonstrating this by doing my signature move, the Corwin snap change. Now what you see over here is a simple king of spades. Now with a wave of my hand and a snap of my fingers, boom, it becomes the ten of hearts. Corwin, you flashed. That trick sucks. Well, it appears that your singular brain cell did not fully comprehend the trick. Do you remember that when I was holding the card, my two fingers turned into one? Where did my middle finger go? Shut up, heckler. All right, so last and certainly not least, the fourth thing that you can do with the deck of low poly sharks. Now, if you're like me and maybe you've brought your deck of low poly sharks to the beach with you, uh, you might be in the position where you've gotten some sand in your tuck box. Well, I've got good news for you because now you can use this deck of low poly sharks and the sand inside to create a makeshift maraca. And I'll show you how to do it right here. The first step is to take your deck of low poly sharks and turn it 90 degrees counterclockwise. Grip firmly with both hands on each side of the deck and shake vigorously as you would say a small child or perhaps your roommate after he stole your 2 a.m. breakfast burrito. I can't say that. I can't. I tell the people to shake children. We don't want the liability. Uh. Unrivaled Dex does not condone the shaking of any children and or babies. Your roommate, however, uh, it's fair game. Because, I mean, let's be real, he probably deserved it. But I can't say that either. Your roommate has rights? Well, I thought he gave those up when he took my burrito. Unrivaled Dex does not condone the vigorous shaking of any living thing. <laughs> I can't do it for 10 seconds. <laughs> And those are the four most common things that you can do with a deck of low poly sharks. Hey, Corwin actually here. You made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I did want to remind you that yes, you can pick up a deck of low poly sharks on our website, unrivaleddecks.com. When you have a deck of low poly sharks, then you'll definitely be able to <laughs> recreate any of the things that we've done over here. Please do send me if you do choose to reenact something I'd be interested in seeing. Also, reminder to any Canadians out there, if you want to pick up a deck of low poly sharks, we do have a special shipping rate for you. You pick up a deck with shipping as low as $8.50 USD. All right, and that's it. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you again next week. Cheers.